after enduring a very unhappy set of TSA employees uh, in security finally through now back at terminal four where I landed yesterday but today I have to say is quite a bit more exciting because we're headed to board that ship that I can see just out the window here we're flying Singapore Airlines suites class on the A380 uh, it'll be a first for me in suites and this is the new suites I've been seeing a lot of it on social media lately people that booked mileage deals just like me uh, when they became available at some point last year so I'm gonna add to the mix it's a long one we're heading out on. The A380, as you might know, SQ25 goes via Frankfurt to Singapore, which is kind of funny because there is also a non-stop from JFK now that departs a couple hours later uh, and probably takes a similar routing. It just doesn't have to sit in Frankfurt for two hours, land and take off. But the result is 21 hours, 55 minutes clock time. Uh, and when you're in sweets class, I think uh, the more the better, right? Let's see. Let's see if I get tired of it. Have over over almost a full day of flying. I'm gonna head over to the Virgin Atlantic Clubhouse now, which is the lounge Singapore uses here for its suites passengers. And uh, that'll be a first for me as well. Never been in a Virgin Atlantic Clubhouse. Uh, and I hear they're really nice, so let's go over there now. isn't really very nice. Honestly, it's messy and dirty. It looks like they stopped paying attention to it about six months ago and have let it go to seed. The food was pretty tasty though, and the views from this seat were good, so fine. I spend quite a while here, and then, finally, they tow our A380 up to the gate. I think this will be the longest trip I've ever done on a single flight number. And wow, there really is a lot of space up here. We'll look more closely at the suite a little later on. For now, let's take off into the night above New York. To fasten, bring the two ends of the seat belt together until you hear a click. The seat takes some getting used to. It swivels toward the TV to your right and toward the windows, but it wasn't really clear to me right away how to recline it properly in all of those positions. The buttons weren't reacting consistently, so this took quite a while to figure out. The decibel meter up here is low 70s in cruise. That's a shade lower than the A330 or about the same depending where you sit. I expected the A380 to be lower actually. Granted, this is unscientific using just my iPhone mic, but it's still interesting to compare. By the way, this door is a little funny. Once or twice I looked up to see that one of the flight attendants was kind of peeking through the little cutouts to check on me. I'm sure it was just to see if I needed anything, 
but it still felt a little strange. Let's move on to the first dinner service. I absolutely love how you get caviar and the best first class products of the world because I almost never eat this stuff otherwise. I'm very happy with this dinner. One funny thing about this very long trip is that the first night on board to Frankfurt is actually pretty short. So despite all the hours ahead of you, it feels like you really ought to get in bed and get some sleep because you're gonna to have to wake up after a short night no matter what you do. So we're really getting the full first class experience here. And this is actually a first for me, having a separate bed. Uh, that's a, a different thing entirely from the seat you sit in. First impression, I'm kind of surprised it feels a little bit firm, while the seat actually is very soft and, and kind of a lot more comfortable from the first impression. But let's see, I'm going to lie down in this bed now, and uh, the only problem with this flight is how short it is to Frankfurt, just a little under seven hours. After the meal service and everything else, we have about five hours left, so I'm going to try and get some sleep, and we'll talk to you more in the morning. I managed to miss breakfast, so the flight attendant kindly insists on bringing me a little sandwich from the snack menu and a tasty Americano as we descend into Frankfurt. This first leg really does feel too short. The transfer experience in Frankfurt is really the low point. Everyone has to get off the plane, and you can go to the lounge, but we were told to get back to the gate within about 45 minutes, which I did, but then we were delayed. A lot of standing around and not really boarding, and delays not really announced. Definitely not a premium experience for first class or suites passengers here in Frankfurt. pleasant hour and a half in Frankfurt Airport. It's a lot for sure, but uh, it's nice to be back in this suite.
chicken satay and Krug. What more can you really ask for in terms of reaching the pinnacles of premium cap and travel? Okay, so flight attendant just came by and handed me this. Another nice premium feeling men's toiletry kit, which apparently you only get departing out of Singapore. So I was gonna miss out on this. We seem to have a quite a serious fragrance here. So the A380 uh, really shines when you're in first class in the upper deck here when it comes to the lavatories because they have all this extra space up front. Different airlines do different things. Emirates puts a big lavatory with a shower here. Singapore doesn't do a shower, but just look at the size of this place. I mean, you got a little sink area over here with mirror. You've got a full length mirror here and a little table here where I think they call these a vanity. And some fake but still nice greens over there. I mean, look at this place. Once I figure out how to recline the seat properly, it turns out to be a very comfortable place to spend some time watching TV. You can also do that from the bed, which is pretty good too, but I found this bed to be too hard. The seat is actually a lot more comfortable. That's my main gripe here. But I know this will come down to personal taste. Basically I spend more time eating than sleeping, to the point that the cabin crew points out that I must really love noodles. Hey, I haven't been able to get back to Asia for two and a half years. Can you blame me if I want to eat all the noodles you have on the menu? It probably goes without saying that everything I eat is delicious. And this here is the breakfast. And with that, 20 plus hours in, it's time for a gorgeous Southeast Asian sunrise and descent into Singapore.
what a privilege to be able to fly with such space, comfort, privacy, being able to close that door, get into a bed. And it's always so much fun flying Singapore Airlines. And they're always really nice on there. So now that I'm at Changi, I'm really early, way too early to check into my hotel. So I thought I'd go and pay a visit to Jewel. I was here right around when they were opening it three or four years ago, whenever that was. So uh, I want to take a look at it again. It's always kind of stunning. In Singapore for Flight Radar 24, I'm Gabriel Lee.